Relationships can be some of the best moments in life or some of the worst. Yet too often we accept mediocrity or even pain and set ourselves up for lack of true connection. In this video, I'm going to share with you my experience and help you understand that energy that you put out is the energy that you'll attract. Before we get into all of that though, I want to get a free resource into your hands that will help you not only attract the right energy, but also help you live your life in harmony between your body, mind, and spirit. So click the link below as we dive in. I want to tell you a little bit about my background and my story and how it is that I came to find the ideal relationship years later. I was 21 years old, I had a home, and I was engaged. From the outside, everything looked great, but from the inside, I knew things just didn't feel right. This was a toxic relationship that had been going on for too long, but I was unable to cut the cord because we had a home together. We had all these plans. I didn't want to go back to my parents' house, etc. So I kept staying, but I knew this wasn't the relationship that I was meant to have. I wasn't being supported on a deeper level, and I knew that I wasn't about to bring children into this situation. Once I found the strength to walk away, I sacrificed everything I had worked so hard to have. The home that we had, I had to start over. I had a new place, no furniture, but through work and asking people for help, I was able to slowly furnish the place. I was finding some peace because I was now on my own, but I knew I needed to go deeper. So I found a therapist. The great thing about my insurance and many insurance programs is that you do have a therapy or a therapist benefit. I encourage you to go. There is no shame or guilt in looking to someone else to help you uncover your blocks, to see where are you hung up in the past? What are the fears that are keeping you stuck and staying in a situation that isn't serving you, but on some level it's comfortably familiar but uncomfortable at the same time. What I found in the therapy was learning to love myself and listen to my needs and feelings was the most important thing that I could do. Going through and working through things from the past that were holding me down, it was gonna be the key to my future so that I wouldn't keep doing the same thing with new people in my life. So many of us wanna feel complete through this other person. So many people just want to find someone so that they can fill this void. But at the same time, there's nothing that can fill a void that's outside of you. you. Wholeness is only gonna come from within. And the biggest part of that is self-love and acceptance. I think we're trying to forget the things that we haven't accomplished or the past hurts, numbing ourselves out with substances or stimulants to try to feel better. When we can start to peel back the layers and see what's really going on, to see that it's some old wound, when we can really tune into it, you can dissolve it. It doesn't have to be your future. You always wanna begin with the end in mind. It's not gonna be the first quick fix. It's gonna take some work. But if you know, this is what I want. I want this established relationship. I want this committed person, this person that respects me, this person that's willing to let me be me. If you can decide that, set an intention, put it out there and say, this isn't something I'm gonna to tolerate anymore. This is what I want and wait for it, you're gonna find that you're gonna become a vibrational match for it and it's gonna come into your life. You can only align to what you're a, you're a vibrational match to. There's nothing wrong with being choosy or being picky. Some people will say to you, you can't be that way, you're never gonna get this, that, and the other. Well, that's their own beliefs. You can have anything that you want if you set your mind to it. My life is a total example of that. Be clear with the universe. Put out what you really want. Be the love in the world. Be that honest person. Have integrity. You will then attract that back into your life. I know people that have said, well, you know what? I was near 30 and I needed to get married or I'm 40 now, I'm not gonna be able to have kids. Do not settle out of lack or scarcity. There's always gonna be enough. In sales, we were always being put up against each other and into this competition. You know, at the end of the day, I started to realize I'm only competing with myself. You don't need to worry about everything outside here. Tune in. Let's get over these things that are holding ourselves back. And we're gonna do this by listening to our needs, by loving ourselves, by accepting the things that have already happened and that we cannot change, and looking forward with new goals and objectives. 
Who cares if all your friends are already married? It doesn't matter, they're not you. They're not living in your shoes and you're not living in theirs. What, what's meant for you, it's gonna come, especially if you call it in. If you set the intention and you start to vibrate at a certain level that says, I deserve, I am worthy, I'm not gonna settle. You are uniquely you. You don't fit into someone else's box, so don't worry about what other people are doing. Focus on yourself. We recently were at a seminar with a friend from Israel, and he was looking to my husband and I, and he was saying, gosh, you guys have this beautiful family, you have these two kids, it's so awesome. He had no idea that my husband didn't have kids until he was in his late 40s. He thought, I'm almost 40 and I haven't had kids around me, I'm an old guy. Again, that's us comparing ourselves to others. That's the problem with a lot of society right now and so much of the media. We start to look at what everyone else has and feel bad about ourselves. Do not do that. Find a way to disconnect from that and know you are on a unique journey. It's your path. When you start to tune into what you need and what you really want, you're gonna be able to get that. A coach that I'm working with right now, she's taught me so much about myself. And what she has said is, look at Hollywood and some of the very best actors. They call it method acting. That means that you embody the character. People study, let's say Robert De Niro, he has studied the character that he is to become. He literally has become this person. He's eating like them. He's going to the places where this person used to be. He's studying the scenes. He's becoming the actual character. He's not coming out of character in the evenings and going back on the weekend, etc. I have now started to do this in my own life. We have to decide who is this person that we are trying to become? This healthier person, this person with more energy, this fit person, this calm person, whatever it is, you can become it. It all starts in your mind. And it's also important that you make it be who you are every hour of the day. Pretty soon, you start to embody these habits and it becomes a routine and it becomes the new way of being. You have to visualize who you are in this new character and what your life would be like. Think about what complements you. What would make you feel good? What is the ideal relationship for you? For me, I knew this person had to care about what they put in their body. They needed to be active. They needed to be investing in themselves so that they would be the best version of themselves, so that together we were better. Not that this person was gonna come in and fix me or vice versa, but that we were both gonna be on this journey together. I'm so glad that I was able to walk away from a relationship that didn't meet those needs take time, study myself, and in the end, call in exactly who I envisioned. You also need to think about what are you not gonna tolerate anymore? If it's manipulation, or being cheated on, or being lied to, you don't need to tolerate that. Just because it happened in the past, do you think it's not gonna happen again? I know so many people are like, I've been in this for three and a half years, this is where I'm gonna be, my bed is made. No, it doesn't have to be. Believe that you're worthy. Forgive yourself of any guilt or shame or something that happened in the past. It's not, it has nothing to do with who you need to become. This new character would not be worried about what happened in the past. They would be focused on the now and where you're going. The truth is, we are what we believe. If you believe you are not worthy, that will dictate your life and the life of those you attract to you. Now hear me, the truth is, you are worthy. You deserve love, respect, and support. To help you believe your truth and walk it out in your life, I've created a free resource that you can download right now when you click the link below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel below. See you on a future video.